This is like, this is beyond a suit. This is like you've gone another step into fashion. We, yeah, we decided to turn it up a notch. This was a gift. Yeah, this was a gift actually from John. Oh, you gifted, yeah. oh, yes. you gifted Will with a the suit. A great tailor in London, David Saxby, made both this suit and Handmade. that made. He did. I'm, yeah. I'm not used to, the, I'm wearing suspenders, uh -huh. and I'm not used to the calibration between what's the right amount of suspension and what's not right now, it feels like they're riding right up the old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it looks fine in the butt. <laughs> it's kind of like wearing a thong wheel. You just got to get used to it, you know? You just <laughs> and just hike it up and get used to it. So. That's great. Oh, well, well, first of all, I saw the movie and it is very funny. You guys, you. who decided, who, got, who, how did you decide who was going to be Holmes and who was going to be Watson? Well, at first we couldn't, so we'd shoot every other day switching parts. Mm -hmm. And then, how long, there's how a great long did that go version on? version of the movie so out there. So cool. We have, uh -huh. we have like a month full of us switching. Right. And then <laughs> it was not cost productive. No, it really. We just make a decision. Let's just make a decision. <laughs> and I decided to be Sherlock. John is the amazing Dr. Watson. Uh-huh, yes. Well, yes. if you saw Step Brothers, you know I lived in a house of murder. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you didn't, <laughs> you didn't see it? <laughs> I, in Step Brothers, I lived in a house of learned doctors. Yes. And in this movie, I get to play he a learned doctor. He's playing a learned doctor. A learned, yeah. yes, yes. Maybe not quite as learned, but yes, a doctor <laughs> for sure. And so you guys, you went over to England. Did you yeah. know how to do an English accent beforehand, or was that something that you had to learn going in? Of course we knew how to do an English accent. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, of um, course. How long we... were you in England? Three and a half months. Yeah, I right? did another movie right after that, so I was there longer, but... Oh, you stayed for quite some time. Yeah. Did you like, did you enjoy living there? Well, I did, except by the time I left there, I, I thought I was doing... Do we have any people from London here? Yeah. Good. Great. Yeah. Continue. <laughs> Continue. I thought I was having a nervous breakdown. Why? I thought, I'm having a psychotic break, and I need to see a... I need to... I'm, I won't go see a doctor here. When I get home, I'll go see a psychiatrist, because something is very wrong. What was Will I'm doing? I'm not able to focus. I'm, you know... <laughs> I got home and I stopped drinking four pots of tea a day, and I was fine. <laughs> yeah. Turns really... out it was all that English tea. You OD'd on tea? Yeah. Mm. I mean, they're always with the tea. Kappa, 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 kappa. Like you turn around and someone's giving you more Will, tea. Will, did you drink tea while you were over there? I, I drank plenty of tea. No yeah, problem. I had no problem. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys yeah. live together in the same hotel while you were there? <laughs> we lived in an abandoned. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I stayed in a house. John lived on a ship. Yeah, I really? lived on the River Thames in, in a houseboat. Right on the Thames is, is an old, a, a pretty long ship. It was a customs house ship. Yeah. There were multiple rooms. We were having like a little like eight person dance party. To so be dancing like this, like, hey man, how's it going? Yeah. And, uh, the, the ship would hit a pier or like a ferry would go by. And, and the wake, <laughs> and it would just throw you. Yeah. And, that sounds great. So you and felt like you're drunk all the time on this house, <laughs> the thing. But you got used to it after a while. Well, they, they tightened up the moorings, what happened after a while. So yes, it got better. It got I better. have a photograph of the two of you at a foot, what they call a football game, but we all know football that's match. not what it is. Football match. Yeah. Football match. Yes. But it's really soccer, though, right? I mean, yeah. yes? No? Soccer. <laughs> There's, uh, there you guys are. Oh, look at the revelry. What? Oh, I brought my little brass horn. <laughs> what is going yeah. on there? John, what that was you... frowned upon, I found out. They're like, no noisemakers at all. Oh, is that right? Yeah, what they're about... very formal there. You can see I wore a, a tweed suit that was a cast off from the movie. 
uh, to that soccer match. Yeah, right? you're very sport. You're really dressed up for a sporting event. So you were the only. Well, and Willie, you're wearing no, what? I'm wearing a tie because we were in a special uh, special area where you had to be formally dressed. Oh. Uh, of course, I'm wearing a, a, a speedo underneath that. You uh -huh. can't see. Yeah. That. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, we were in a, a, a very exclusive uh, part for the for the Chelsea supporters. I see. And um, so, so yeah, we, you had to dress up. We did run into. We ran into a Sherlock Holmes related character at yes, that game. Yes, we got Ooh. this actor Mark Strong. He played like the main villain in uh, in the Robert Downey Sherlock. Oh, he the bald Moriarty. guy, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, the one who's like super fierce. He looks like an eagle, kind of. <laughs> and so we were talking to him. He's like, "Can I?" He was with his son. Could we take a photo with him? Absolutely. And he's like, "What are you guys doing here?" We're like, "We're doing Holmes and Watson." And he went. <laughs> what? <laughs> and he just had this astonished look. I don't know if it was anger. I don't know if it was jealousy or resentment. He's like, really? I think, I think it was disappointment. I'm a, sure a, a disappointment, disappointment that we were handed the reins of Holmes and Watson. Uh, and, yeah, we uh, went to England and we made a lot of fun yeah, of English so, people, I have to say. It sounds like you're <laughs> not very good guests. Yes. Thank God there's no one from London here. So, <laughs> At least you uh, have each other. How many movies have you made together now? Uh, 43. 43 <laughs> movies. That I think you mean four. Four. It's, yeah. it's four movies. Okay, four movies. I was in Anchorman 2, but it was brief. But yes, four altogether. Do you yeah. count that one? You count the brief? Spot I count there? it. I put a lot of. A lot of heart into Stonewall Jackson. He was the ghost of Stonewall Jackson. Okay. We'll give you that. We'll make it four then. And what is it you, what have you learned about each other? What is it about you, your each other that, that you, you like so well? And did did you like each other right at the outset? You know, I did like Will right at the outset. We met on the, I'll never forget on the West Side Highway. Molly Shannon introduced us. Yes. And I was like, who is this guy? He looks, he seems very familiar, like we could be related or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, and over time, we like got to know each other better and better. And then uh, I almost did Anchorman, it didn't work out. And then eventually we did Talladega Nights together. And I feel like. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we did develop quite a real quite relationship. Quite a real relationship. One of the things I, love about John is he has colorful expressions to announce when he's going to the bathroom. Mm. Oh. And uh, okay. it's become one of my favorite terms as well, uh -huh. that when John has to uh, go number two, uh -huh. which uh, can also be, you've heard the term drop a deuce. Yeah. He just says, guess what? I got to find my passport. It's somewhere here because I'm taking a trip to Dusseldorf. <laughs> Way of saying what? It. But then that, on a film set, that just gets shortened to, uh, you got my passport? <laughs> Thank you. I gotta go. <laughs> so we just leave it out, and it just turns this great code, sophisticated potty yeah, talk yeah. around travel. <laughs> so I can see what you saw yeah. in Will on the West Side Highway now. <laughs> yeah, I looked in those eyes, and I thought, there's someone who understands Dusseldorf. Well, when we come back... We are going to see a clip from your latest collaboration. It's called Holmes and Watson. Will Ferrell and John C. Riley are here. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.